These YouTube channels are all under one year old and are gaining lots of views on their YouTube channels and they're earning good income by posting faceless videos by using AI characters and it is actually easier to do than you may think. So in this video, I'll show you how you can create and edit videos for a channel like this easily and for completely free by using AI tools. So the first thing that you need to do is generate the character for your channel. And in order to do this, it's only going to take you about 10 seconds. It's actually super easy now that you have your talking character it's time to move on to the next step the next step is actually making the videos and there are two ways you can go about creating those videos when you're using this technique i will show you both of them and you will choose the one which works best for you they're both very simple we'll be using CapCut online you could find a link to use it in the description below it's completely free to use once on CapCut, it's going to take you to this page and then you can go ahead to sign up for your accounts and then once you've logged in it's going to take you to this page now the first way that you can begin creating these videos is by having ai do practically all the work for you in order to have this done what you want to do is click over here where it says script to video and then once on this page you can insert your own script if you already have one or you can begin writing it out or you can have CapCut online generate a script for you in order to do this you want to hit the backslash as you can see then you're going to select what type of script that you want in our case we're going to be using narration scripts and then in this box here you're going to insert the idea of the script that you wanted to write for you now don't worry if you don't have any ideas that is okay it happens to the best of us what you can do is come on over to ChatGPT and ask it this prompt give me video ideas for faceless youtube channel in the niche niche and this is where you insert your niche or if you don't want such broad ideas then you can ask it a prompt like this which says give me faceless video ideas about topic and then over here you want to insert the topic that you want ideas about so for example give me faceless video ideas about procrastination so however you get ideas it doesn't matter so once you have your idea you want to come on back over to CapCut online what i'm going to ask it is something like this write a script about why procrastination is not making people reach their full potential and then hit enter see nothing too complicated and now as you could see it has gone ahead and generated me a script now if i don't like this one i could click next to see all the different script options that it's given us so read through them and then select the one that you like and then once you've found one that you like you simply click use script now once you have this script from here you can click on to parts that you want and type in whatever it is that you want and edit this script further remove small stuff make this script your own but once you have the script the way you like it all you need to do now is click where it says generate video ensure you have smart generation selected click 16 by 9 and then you want to play the different voices and then select the voice that you would like to use in your video and then click generate video and then once it's done it will show you your video in this scene where you could watch it to make sure it is to your liking and if not then you could go back to edit your script to change certain things but once you are happy with how the video script is and how it came out what you want to do is click where it says edit video now once in this page you want to do these few things to edit your video to make it really better so the first thing you want to edit is the caption in order to do it you want to click onto the first text you can select a preset of a text if you would like to use it that way or if you want to edit your text from scratch then you can select text basic and then you can edit every aspect of the text in a way that you would want in your video and once you finish editing your text be sure to select apply to all so that it does apply this setting to all of your different texts and now that it's done as you can see it is a lot of text in one chunk so you would want to go ahead to set separate the text so it could be smaller chunks of text so in order to do this you'd want to click where it says captions and then you'd come onto the block of text that you'd want to separate for example the first one and then you simply want to click where it is that you want to separate the text for example after the word procrastinating and then i'm going to hit enter so now you can see the text is separated so now it looks a little bit better so go ahead to do this for all of your text which you may think is way too long now once you've done this the next thing you can go ahead to do is edit the text animation in order to do this it's very simple you want to click onto the text click animate and then there is many different animation styles that you could choose on as you could see so go through all of the different effects and choose the one you want to use for your video so i'm going to choose the one pop up and ensure that it's selected to two seconds and be sure to select apply to all so that the effect is applied to all your text so now the last thing you need to do to make your video more engaging is adding the character that we created earlier in order to add it in the first thing you need to do is upload the video of your character that we downloaded from canva and then once you have 
have your character uploaded in all you need to do now is click onto it and then find the part in the video that you would like your character to be in for example let's just say this second spot and then you're going to place them on top of that image and then it's going to automatically crop it to fit that same size and then you click done and now it's replaced that scene with this new scene that we just added in and then you can keep simply adding the character in for any other image any other spots that you think it would fit well in it is your video so you do it however you please but once you've done that let's now take a look at what it looks like want to start well have you ever wondered why this is happening to you well the answer is simple Procrastination is not making people reach their full potential. In fact, it is holding them back. See guys, that's a total level up for your faceless videos like this. Makes it way more engaging, doesn't it? But hold on, we're not done yet. Because there's another way you can go about doing this that will totally elevate the other types of videos. The second way you can go about doing this is by using your own footage. This works best for tutorial style videos as long as you have your own raw footage. And I just want to say the channels who do it this way get way more views and engagement than the channels who don't. I have actually seen many of them blow up from their very first video so just keep that in mind but what you want to do is come back on over to CapCut online and then click where it says create new video and then on this page you want to insert a screen recording that you already have taken so as you can see I just recorded a silly little tutorial in Canva showing how to make a person now I can't just go ahead to upload it to YouTube like this like what most people do it is valuable but it also is very bland but don't worry because by doing these simple steps I'm about to show you it's really going to upgrade the video the first thing you need to do is adding text subtitles to your video so what you want to do is click onto where it says captions and then you want to click auto captions click here to select the language that you're speaking in and then click generate and now as you can see it has automatically transcribed my entire video for me and that took three seconds and it's also visible in this corner of the screen now for example something like this one it is very big in order to break it in half you want to click onto the spot where you would want to break it and then hit enter and as you can see it has now separated it into two different texts it has also adjusted them when I say them in the timeline. So go through the captions and break them apart as you feel needed. From here, you can't simply leave it like this. You want to edit it. In order to edit it, it's very simple. You click onto the first one, and then the first thing that opens is the presets. So you can select any of these presets for your video. I recommend using something that's really simple, or you can click where it says text basic, and here you could actually edit your text even more. So go ahead to play these settings till you get your text in the way that you would like. And then once you've edited the text, look ensure that you have applied to all selected so that as you can see it gone ahead and applies the settings to all of your text and you're not done yet as you can see it simply just swaps from one text to the other you could actually animate the text so that when it changes it looks different what i mean by that is ensure that you have the text selected click where it says animate there are many different animations you could choose from you could choose to add the animation on the entrance when it's going out you could loop the animation or you can click caption so feel free to choose whichever one you like the one that i'm going to be using is this one now as you can see it's already looking better because the words are popping up it gives it a little bit more activity but hang on we're not done yet because we need to actually add in our character to this you want to add them in the time where things are not happening on screen so for example here there's nothing happening i could add it in here now in order to do this it's very simple first thing you need to do is go to where it says media and then you're going to upload the file of the character that we downloaded from canva now once your character has been added in what you need to do is like i mentioned earlier find a part in your video where nothing is happening on screen and then you want to cut it you want to separate it and then if you put your mouse to the playhead you should see this option that says split you simply can click onto it and then what you're going to do you're going to take your clip then you're going to drag it into the scene just above this one as you can see the blue line here and then just drop it where you want it to be and then drag the playhead again where the action stops put your playhead onto where it says split click split delete the second part of the video and now we have this here as you can see it's a little not big enough so what you want to do is click onto it again and then simply adjust the size so that it covers the complete screen and then you do the same thing for another part of your video you'd find when nothing is happening and what i like to do i like to cut it so it makes it easier for me to know where the start and end is i'd find where the no motion part begins and then hit split then i'd find where it ends or where i want it to end i don't really have a non-motion part so we'll just do this and hit split again then i'll do the same thing i'll bring in my character but this time i'll rest it with hair and then since i split at the other one before i know exactly where to split this one it splits delete and then you want to keep doing that for your entire video as needed so now let's take a sneak peek of what this actually looks like it's a silly looking person so let's search for body so we can add in a body and then select the first one we see 
we can go ahead and expand it so it's a little bit bigger that is way more engaging and that is just that is just way better and that is it guys but i want you to listen closely to this looking at both of the results you can tell that i did them both with minimal editing skills and in a very short time period and they are way more engaging than if i hadn't done this editing at all so you can try CapCut online for free again in the description down below but simply upping your content like this can be the simple difference you need to get way more views and get your channel monetized and in turn earn you money i note very well that these channels blow up very quickly because they actually provide value to their niches or to the audience that they're creating videos for so when you're doing this be sure to provide value and do not try to just copy these channels and make videos about things you have no idea about instead find something that you're interested in something that you know a little bit or a lot about and provide value in that way so now you know how you can get started with a channel like this so give it a try and if you want to learn more from me then you need to check out this other video on my channel.